Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you so much for coming. Can you hear okay? Okay. Thank you so much. What a milestone event for Bristol Community College. Uh, we're very pleased uh, to welcome you to this brand new Taunton Center, Bristol Community College Taunton Center at the Silver Gallery, Silver City Gallery Mall. Uh, six months ago, we made our announcement about our intentions to move into this space, and we were standing in front of a dream, an empty storefront with great potential, but lots of work still to be done to make that dream a reality. Now I stand in front of you to say our dream has come true, and today we're officially opening this Bristol Community College Taunton Center. I want to introduce some uh, people in the audience and uh, on the dais. Uh, uh, we have the Commissioner of Higher Education, Carlos Santiago, is here. <laughs> uh, Rep Speaker Pro Tem and Representative Pat Haddad. There she is. <laughs> Representative Keiko Oro. <laughs> Representative Shauna O'Connell. Representative Steve Howitt. We have Senator Mark Pacheco. Good. Members of the Taunton City Council, Estelle Borges. Dan Dermody. John McCall. Gene Quinn. Uh, and from the Taunton School System, we have uh, uh, Joseph Martin in the school committee. There he is. And we have superintendent, none other than Julie Hackett. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> Thank you all for being with us. Uh, now please welcome uh, the chair of our board of trustees, Joseph Marshall, who is an alum of uh, Bristol Community College. And uh, as I say, he's providing great leadership as a member of the Board of Trustees and lately as a chair of the Board of Trustees. Joseph Marshall. Thank you, Thank you Jack. Got to change our microphone here. Can you hear me? Hear me now? Yeah? All right. Uh, it's, it's my pleasure to thank you and welcome you to our newest, you'll see it, our newest space where we plan to uh, provide access and opportunity to this region. As an alumnus of this great college, I can testify from personal experience how Bristol Community College changed my life. And as chair of the governing board, I see these changes in others. Uh, just spending some time at any of the locations, you, you see things happening every day. Uh, this site puts an affordable, high-quality education within reach of so many more people. We have seen an enormous enrollment growth over the past 10 years as we have opened local sites in Attleboro and New Bedford. I know that uh, we will see history repeat itself here in Taunton. Uh, allow me to introduce some of my colleagues from the board who are here today. And if I miss you, I apologize in advance. Uh, Cynthia Rose. Cynthia, you're here. Thank you. These are all wonderful people. Attorney uh, Sandra, uh, Sandra Saunders. Sandra, thank you. Uh, Chairman, uh, I'm sorry, Trustee pa Dr. Pat Andrade. Pat. Uh, Trustee Attorney Steve Torres. and Vice Chair of the Board, Diane Sylvia. Oh, and uh, our student trustee, Jay Zeal, is here. Thank you. Thank you. I also want to acknowledge uh, uh, Chairman of the BCC Foundation, Don Smith. Don and I have worked together different capacities. We've kind of flipped job titles, Chairman of the Foundation, and vice versa over the last 10 years. Um, I want to thank everyone sincerely for joining us here today and uh, when you have an opportunity to, to walk through the, uh, 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 the new location, I, I look forward to what happens here in Taunton. And as Jack's vision over the last 16 years 
has been to reach as many people as possible, students as possible. And I think uh, this is another one of those uh, initiatives that will allow us to do that. So again, thank you and, and welcome. Thank you, Chairman Marshall. Um, <clears throat> the Taunton Center, we'll see, we'll have tours available at the end of the program. Uh, we have 12 classrooms, three computer labs, a high-tech biology and chemistry lab, and a certified nursing assistant lab. Uh, students will also benefit from the support services, including advising, tutoring, and a library, and a learning common space. The uh, 26,000 square feet. The new site will also ho house the casino lab and hospitality lab, uh, which will provide learning space for the college's newly approved associate and applied sciences in hospitality management. Uh, BCC is fortunate to have the benefit of a very engaged congressional delegation, which provides great direction and support for us. And we're honored today to have with us a congressman from the 4th District, Congressman Joseph Kennedy, please rep, rep, uh, welcome him. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. President, um, good morning. Uh, good morning, everybody. It is a thrill for me to be here, um, and particularly, uh, I'm going to get into this more in a second, um, but uh, of the time that I've spent in office and representing the 4th District, um, to spend some time with uh, President Sprague is always uh, one of the joys of the day, joys of the week. Uh, a man that has been so dedicated to our community and our country um, from the time he was a very young man. And somebody who, um, well, it is always nice to be able to address somebody as Mr. President. Um, we, uh, Jack, the legacy that you are going to leave um, this community and Bristol Community College is truly extraordinary. Thank you for all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am thrilled and honored to be here with uh, all of you for a historic day, a historic morning. Um, I have to also recognize that this is the first time that I have visited this mall since the tragic events of a few weeks ago. And I'm sure that our thoughts and prayers are all with the families who lost loved ones that fateful day. If not for the heroic acts of other members of our community, um, leaders like our local law enforcement officials and police officers, and Mayor Hoy, uh, it could have been far, far worse. So to those uh, folks that responded with bravery and honor that day, we thank you. To uh, Director Sadler, with your expertise in community education, I have no doubt that this campus could possibly, uh, it could not be in better hands. If I can ever be helpful or supportive to you, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Over the past few years, I've spent a lot of time at BCC campuses in Fall River and Attleboro and right here in Tom. And every time I visit, I learn something new about the doors opened inside these classrooms to students of all ages, backgrounds, and experiences. Whether full-time or part-time, BCC offers the flexibility and the stability that its diverse student body requires. But it also tailors its curriculum to the needs of the local community so that every student is ready to enter the local workforce in their own backyard or continue their education off to a four-year college. By celebrating this institution and by opening these doors today, we can ensure that the benefits and strengths of BCC reach even more students, more aspects of our community in the years to come. We're extraordinarily proud to be a partner in these efforts. Thank you for including me today. And please let me know how I can be helpful going forth. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Congressman. Creating this site was truly a community effort. The work of many local elected officials and community leaders uh, made this happen. Uh, uh, it's my honor now to introduce to you a champion for education, public higher education in general, and uh, BCC in particular, uh, Senator Mark Pacheco.
Thank you uh, very much, Mr. President, uh, Chairman Marshall, other members of the Board of Trustees, distinguished uh, guests at the dais here, uh, one and all friends of uh, BCC, what a day. This is an extraordinary day uh, when you have an opportunity to visit the space and to see what new students and faculty will have uh, uh, to look forward to, uh, to be here and to, and to learn and then go out, to, to the, go out into the world as a BCC alum, uh, like Chairman Marshall, or our director, Gloria, uh, and continue to help change the world. I want to uh, thank uh, Jack Sprager, as the congressman has, uh, to thank him for his vision and leadership, not only in trying to make sure, as Joe Marshall said, that access and opportunity are here for young people in uh, Taunton, in the Taunton area, uh, to make sure that more people would have access to higher education, uh, but for his uh, commitment to uh, the city, to the region, and to BCC and higher education in general. If you have the opportunity to go uh, to the Fall River campus and take a look at the Science Center that will open up shortly, uh, it is amazing uh, the tremendous opportunities that will be here in southeastern Massachusetts because of uh, uh, Jack's leadership. I also want to thank Congressman Kennedy. You know, at the state level, we try to do what we can to, uh, along with uh, excellent legislative leaders that I serve with. Uh, Speaker Pro Tem uh, Haddad is with us, the entire legislative delegation uh, that works together, and we try to find the necessary resources to make sure that that access and opportunity are there. But we need federal partners, and there isn't anyone at the federal level that works harder uh, to make sure that access is there for uh, public quality education uh, than Joe Kennedy. He's been, he's been out there fighting every day. He's been working on the whole STEM issue uh, and the STEAM issue, making sure that uh, young people uh, have access, and I want to just take this moment to publicly thank him. Finally, <laughs> finally I want to thank our mayor a former educator himself, and once an educator, always an educator, right? So uh, a former educator himself, somebody who cares very deeply. He's in our schools uh, in, in Taunton every day, uh, you know, for one issue or another. He's invited to come and uh, plays a significant role. I saw him last night at a uh, education retirement party, and he is, uh, he's there working around the clock uh, to make uh, things better here in the city. Uh, this center will truly make things better here in the city, in our region. Congratulations to all those who've made this work, and we will indeed provide more access and opportunity, as Chairman Marshall has said, for thousands upon thousands of people of all ages who want to uh, continue their education. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator. Very pleased uh, for your, to have the benefit of your support. Uh, another champion I introduced earlier, uh, uh, the Speaker Pro Tem, Pat Haddad, also very much a champion for uh, Bristol Community College and public higher education. Thank you, Representative uh, Haddad. <laughs> it's now my pleasure to welcome Representative Keiko Oral, who represents the ground where we stand and is one of uh, BCC's biggest fans. She is the proud mom of two, not one, but two uh, BCC alums, uh, and I, I'm pleased now to introduce Representative Orr. 
Thank you, President Sprague. It is a new and exciting day, and he took all of my uh, thunder. I'm a proud parent of uh, two BCC alums, and this is an exciting opportunity for the city of Taunton. Um, we in, in the legislature are proud to stand with you, to support you. Um, we have the, the entire Taunton delegation uh, here to support you, as well as my colleague from Seekonk, Stephen Howitt. Uh, we are excited about this opportunity to provide many in this area with access to higher education. And the important thing, that, that the word that I want to zero in on is community. Uh, we've had some tragic events in this community um, recently, um, but we are a community that stands together. We are a community that is, is hopeful. We're looking forward. We have exciting things coming. And so Bristol Community College, this is an exciting day. The faculty are here. We have our Taunton City Councilors who are with us and our great mayor, Tom Hoy. We're here to say the community is behind you. We're standing with you. And we're excited about this great opportunity. On behalf of the legislature, I'd like to present a citation um, just commemorating this exciting day and celebrating this grand opening, looking at the banners, apply and get information today. It's important to tell our friends and neighbors that this is a great, great day to, um, to support BCC. Thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, we have uh, a good many uh, uh, other people to thank. Uh, you've met our national level and the state level. I want to, again, thank our representatives uh, uh, and Senator Mark Pacheco, Representative Haddad, Representative O'Connell is here, Representative Howitt, and, of course, Representative Oral. Uh, we uh, also have um, uh, some others that I'd like to introduce to you. Um, we have, let's see, we have a, quite a list here, I think. Um, I mentioned Estelle Borges and Dan Dormady, uh, Joseph Martin in the school committee, Peter Kaur is here from the school committee, Carol Doherty is here from the school committee. Thank you, Peter, thank you, Carol. Uh, Carrie Babbitt from the Chamber of Commerce at Taunton, thank you. Ed Correa from the Chamber and uh, John McMahon uh, from the Chamber, Linda Sternfeld from the Chamber. Thank you all for coming. I should mention to you, too, that we had invited uh, Chairman um, uh, Cromwell and uh, the Council uh, from the Tribe. Uh, unfortunately, they send their regrets because I understand there's a Gaming Commission meeting today. So they first things first for them. <laughs> But uh, we're going to have uh, special arrangements for a tour for, for Chairman Carmel. Uh, <clears throat> I mentioned our elected representatives, and they have a great support uh, for our work. Without the, but the people here on the ground are very important. And uh, I want to introduce uh, to you someone who a uh, strong champion of, uh, of BCC uh, and, of course, of Taunton and someone who has, was instrumental in playing the role uh, for uh, opening the pathway for BCC to first enter uh, the Taunton area and now uh, to uh, uh, land at this uh, gorgeous site. So it's my honor to introduce the mayor of the city, Tom Hoy. Thank you, Dr. Sprague. It's an honor for me to be here today. This is an exciting day uh, here in the city of Taunton, not only for uh, Bristol Community College, but also for the Silver City Galleria, as you're seeing the renaissance of the Silver City Galleria before our eyes. We've certainly seen some the tragic events here of a couple of weeks ago. Our thoughts and prayers are, are, are with the families. But let's not overlook the great strides that have been taken here at the mall. You have, now we have the BCC Taunton Center. We have round one. The businesses are coming back to the mall, and that's certainly good news for our city. But I'm so excited to be here. This is about access to education. I've heard a couple of speakers mention access. It's about access for our students, not only in Taunton, but the surrounding area. The face of college has changed. 
More, much, many more students are relying on our community college system and we're thrilled to be able to offer that here in the city of Taunton. It's been quite a process. I think this is like, our, is this our third ribbon cutting, Dr. Jack? But we're, we're here to stay and that's, and that's the great news. I am so excited, so excited. This has been a labor of love for many of us uh, here on the stage and, and amongst the audience. Uh, I've been in office about four and a half years now. I don't know where time goes, but it's been a goal of ours to get a full-time college presence in the city of Taunton, and it's here. It's happened. So I'm thrilled to be here today. I'd like to thank everyone for their efforts, and I can't wait to see, get a tour of the facility. Thank you all so much for coming. Well, we have uh, some other, a couple of other people I want to embarrass to introduce to you. Uh, uh, we, we, this, this site now, uh, I don't want to say completes, but it does make a round about uh, 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 Attleboro, New Bedford, and uh, Fall River, two places in Fall River, and now in Taunton. Uh, each one is a gorgeous uh, uh, facility. I urge you to uh, tour all of those if you have the time. Uh, we're so proud of that. It couldn't have happened without the foundation uh, support of the BCC Foundation. Uh, you've met the president, uh, uh, Don Smith, who is a former trustee and a wonderful supporter of BCC. I want to introduce Pat Murray, also a, a foundation member and uh, a co-chair of our uh, campaign cabinet. So he'll be talking to you before you leave today. Uh, thank you, Pat. Thank you for it. Pat Murray, ladies and gentlemen, president of uh, Bristol County Savings Bank. And also, uh, I, uh, I don't know if you've noticed these badges, but we're, uh, we're coming to an end of our celebration of the 50th year uh, for BCC. We started back in 1965 and 66. It's hard to tell sometimes. I, miss, I think the only thing I'm missing is the order of Lenin on my, uh, on my chest. But I do want to introduce someone who is still full time at the college and started in the early day, Dr. James Pelletier. Dr. Pelletier, would you stand? Still going strong after 50 years at the college. That's really a remarkable achievement. And he also has a cohort, uh, someone who else started uh, on those first days, and that is uh, now retired, but still teaching at BCC part-time, uh, Dr. Al Roy. Dr. Al Roy. That is remarkable. Dr. James Pelletier and Dr. Al Roy, uh, to have all this wealth of uh, institutional memory and the experiences, I mean, it is remarkable. And uh, I think it attests to the uh, warm, accommodating climate that's at BCC, and people want to stay 50 years, right? And beyond, and still going, right? Okay. Uh, this is a, uh, 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 the mall, uh, uh, the opening of this mall uh, location for BCC is a, a, one of the local examples of a national trend of shopping malls being reimagined and converted to suit a variety of more sustainable community needs. The amenities found at Silver City Galleria will provide a robust community experience for all of our students. The work of D.F. Frey, the general contractor, is on display inside, and I can't wait for you to see that, and I commend them for their excellent and timely work. The leadership here at the mall, both on the corporate side and locally, have been incredibly supportive, and we look forward to a long and fruitful partnership. Please welcome Barney McCauley, Managing Partner for Tricom Real Estate Group. Barney. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. We are very excited to welcome BCC to Silver City Galleria. We really are happy to be part of their commitment to lifelong learning. It's been a lot of work and a lot of time and most of the people behind me have done all the work and spent all the time. And I'm very appreciative of their efforts. We here at Silver City feel that BCC is a perfect fit for us at the mall. The students will have the opportunity to use the ample parking, the free Wi-Fi, the great new facilities that have been completed, the obviously shop, have employment, but more so to go forward into the world better prepared to meet the challenges. 
with BCC opening here and the other recent additions to the mall and our new partner coming in across the street, First Light Casino, we feel that this location will generate learning opportunities and career opportunities for the whole community. We're very excited and want to welcome BCC here to Silver City Galleria. Thank you. I almost forgot. The gentleman that's running all this is Tom Smith. He's going to come up here to say a few words. Before he joins us, I, Tom Smith is what we call a general manager of the mall. But we more think of him like Mayor Hoy. He's kind of the mayor of the mall. So if you have any questions about the mall or any challenges or opportunities, feel, direct, feel free to direct it to our mayor. Mr. Mayor. Well, on behalf of uh, the mall management team and our more than 125 businesses at Silver City Galleria, we officially welcome the faculty and students of Bristol Community College and their commitment to lifelong learning. And we're very happy for this day and we're very happy they're here and I'm looking forward to working with them going forward. Thank you very much. Of course, the most important reason that Bristol is here is opening the site is student success. That's our most important product at BCC. And I invite the director of this center now, who has done yo, a tremendous amount of work uh, uh, to get Taunton Center started. Uh, uh, first, that uh, we were days at, at one site and nights at another site, then moved to the uh, Catholic uh, Middle School, and now here, and she's been uh, struggling and uh, leading us through the whole challenges that she's faced. It's my honor to introduce Gloria Sadler, who is also an alum, class of 2010, uh, from BCC. Gloria. I'm honored that you've taken the time out of your very busy schedules to join us today to share in the excitement of this ribbon cutting. Your presence here is very humbling for me, as is this special day. Martin Luther King once said, faith, can you hear me better? Martin Luther King once said, faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. When I started in Taunton as the coordinator, like the students who took classes at the satellite campuses, I too found a desire for a permanent center in Taunton. My students became my extended family. My office became my second home. We created a campus community. I shared in the students' many accomplishments. I'm always overjoyed when I see them finish. Their smiles shine bright when they commence. What I see is pride when they graduate and newfound confidence. Their thanks the way they show their gratitude is to spread the word to their families, friends, and neighbors that our Taunton Center, our Bristol Community College, works. And as I see, we grow. Today, Bristol Community College has finally arrived at a place to call its own. With this campus, students in Taunton and the surrounding towns will now have greater access to programs in healthcare, criminal justice, technology, innovation, the arts, and of course, our casino. The impact this facility will have is immeasurable. There is no limit on how this campus and the many unique opportunities this area will now receive can help future generations of residents 
in gaining the skills to improve their own qualities of life and the quality of life for others. Based on our mission and legacy of service to the South Coast and the Bristol County area, Bristol Community College has a clear vision on how we are going to take education and lift it up within the communities and provide strong foundations and create proud histories. The dedication and commitment of the leaders of this institution and the Taunton community is unwavering. Steps were taken, and now we have this staircase, this campus, this center, this ribbon cutting, and it is an example of Bristol Community College's commitment to the community. I want to say thank you to our mall partners. They have provided us with an opportunity to create a special promotion to offer those who register for classes this summer with an opportunity to be entered into a drawing to win gift cards so that they may shop in the stores who've donated during the month of June, July, and August. Every 15th of the month, we will choose winners from all who have registered for summer, and we'll go ahead and include some fall classes. These gift cards are from Best Buy, American Ego, Forever 21, and game cards to play in the arcade at round one. So come on into our beautiful new space learn about how you can make a new start if you're not currently one of our students. We'd love to have you join us in our inaugural classes. Thank you. Well, how are we holding up? Okay, we're almost halfway through. You doing okay? <laughs> but we didn't want to have this uh, program without hearing from a student. Right? That's what we're all about. Uh, so it's my honor to introduce Ted August. Ted August. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ted August, and I am a student at uh, the Taunton campus. Having the pleasure of sharing my uh, college experience with my twin sisters and my friends here at uh, Taunton, was a great experience for me. And having a community college here was a great experience for me. Um, I wasn't planning on going to college when I was in high school. I was just planning on graduating and going straight to work. And uh, when my parents moved us to Taunton, I had the opportunity to go to school. And the school that was there was Bristol Community College. And they gave me the opportunity to become successful not only in my classes, but as being a young man growing up in the society that we live in today. And they gave me the tools to become successful. And I really appreciate what uh, BCC has done for me, not only as an African-American male going to school, but a successful African-American male. And now I can say that with the college degrees that I will be getting, and when I graduate, I will be the top of my class, hopefully, and uh, graduate with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. And I just want to say, I want to say thank you to Ms. Gloria for always being there for me and everybody else in the uh, staff and faculty that is there. Thank you so much, guys. Well, it's all, that's what we're here for. It's so inspiring to hear from our students. Uh, I always tell students who are current, current students, you can go anywhere from BCC. It's up to you, and we provide the opportunity and access, but most important, the high quality of education. But I also tell alums uh, that uh, they wouldn't be where they are 
uh, were it not for BCC. And to get started, uh, they, got, they got started at BCC and moved on. Speaking of alums, I want to introduce uh, to you and recognize the head of our Alumni Association, Patricia Zikowski. Patricia, thank you. And another great supporter has arrived, the Representative Bob Cazera. Representative Cazera, right there. Well, now's the moment. We have, if I, I would like to invite the speakers to join me uh, uh, for the ribbon cutting, which will officially open the center. And afterwards, please join, I urge you, if you have the time, please join us for tours. It's a remarkable facility. We're very proud of it. And as I mentioned, we have all jewels across uh, uh, Bristol County, in New Bedford and Attleboro, as well as two sites in Fall River, all state of the art and just something we're very proud of. So please, if the speakers can join us, we're going to uh, cut the ribbon and open the center. Thank you everyone for coming.